WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, uh, pretty nice but uh, cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and uh, we've got a sea of green when we take a look at the U.S. indices uh, for the most part. They're trading to the upside. The Dow's up 49, S&P's up 9, NASDAQ's up 3 points, the uh, Russell's up 6, Semis are up 11, Tranny's up 76, New York Stock Exchange is up, Gold is down 58 bucks. That's off 2.5%. Silver's down 1 to 3 tenths percent, a little less than 5% to the move of a move to the downside. Lights to be crude. 42 pennies, half percent there. National gas finding some legs this morning. Still just trading with insider's daily profile, but it is up a nickel in the 30-year treasury. It's basically flat. It's down four ticks, printed out at 114.16. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel. Market update chart. We begin the ES mini upper left-hand side. We've got an A to B equal CD pattern to the downside. It needs a bullish reversal. Canada confirm a bottom pattern out there. Today, though, is generating a TD sequential signal. So if we do see a bar close above a bar four bars earlier, well, that would be a bottom pattern. If we take a look at spot volatilics, it has gotten down to test that parabolic SAR dot out there. That I've got on my system at 1777, the low of the day, 1777. If you get a close below that, odds would fade that the spot volatilics would continue to move lower. Target is 50-day exponential moving average. That's at 1518. And then we would likely see a further rally inside the S&P 500, the ES Mini. The NQ's got that same pattern, which is an A to B equal CD to the downside. Needs a bullish reversal. Canada confirm a buy the D point pattern, but has also triggered a TD sequential count. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it has an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. It's initial price projection in the 106.53 level, but a profile has gotten in its way, and that way is resistance that reside between 105.78 and 106.32. Gold is pulling back. It'll generate a sell the D point pattern today. It's trading with inside its profile. It's testing its buy zone. The buy zone is between 23.18 and 23.51. Silver is testing profile support. Profile support is at 27.55. We open up this silver chart here. If we get it close below the bottom of that profile, odds favor, well, one, we'd have a profile change in trend, and we're likely to head lower. Now, you need two consecutive close of below support out there, but this could be day number one of that. Lights be crude. It's got a TD9 count top. It has a new profile that's attempting to form. It's forming above price. That suggests we should see lights be crude continue to move lower. Natural gas. Again, just consolidating with inside its daily profile. Support down at 196, resists up at 209. The same thing really going on with regard to the 30-year treasury. The difference with the 30-year, it is as it has a buy the D point bottom. But it's got support at the 11326 and resistance up at 11610. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show if you want, but if you have to start your Monday, have a magical and magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon.